She's my North Star. The head of the FAA trying to explain damning headlines Wednesday from an internal investigation that finds its oversight lacking. You will be seen as how you hold them accountable, and we will be able to review that. Anything less is not meeting the letter of the law. Amid the chaos of vaccine mandates and an industry struggling to rebound from a pandemic that crippled its business, the FAA accused of letting American Airlines off the hook on critical maintenance procedures. The FAA uh, was not doing its job. Dennis Tager is a captain for American and a spokesperson for his pilot's union. Equally as concerning for us, it showed that American Airlines on the maintenance side, uh, the managers who handle that were not uh, taking on proper fixes. The Transportation Department's Inspector General says the FAA took American at its word on what caused maintenance oversights without finding the true root cause and didn't verify whether American was actually meeting federal safety standards. Leave it unchecked can lead to deadly consequences for flight crews and passengers alike. The issues that you're bringing up are, uh, are not acceptable and, uh, and we need to do better. The FAA tells Newsy it's working on addressing the issues. American Airlines told us they welcome the report and are working with the FAA to fix the problems. Do you see a trend here? Absolutely. The good news is the trend is it's being exposed where the weaknesses are. This too cozy relationship or this this uh, more lax oversight of the airline industry by the FAA is a trend that has got to stop. The fresh concern as pilots are facing an unprecedented level of pressure in the cockpit. Newsy obtaining recent internal communications warning pilots at American and Southwest Airlines of increased reports about distracted and tired pilots. Southwest Pilots Union telling its members the number of pilots pulled from flights for being too tired to fly tripled at the start of last month. As vaccine mandate deadlines approach, pilots caught up in a debate that's become all too political. <laughs> Unruly passenger reports still at historic highs. This passenger arrested before takeoff in Atlanta last week. The FAA reports a jaw-dropping spike in reports this year. And while the rate of those incidents has dropped as airlines have started flying more, it's still historically high. We've done everything that we can. I've even been on TMZ. Uh, which I never thought I would be to make sure that, that the public is aware of the importance of following crew instructions. But Newsy has previously reported the number of cases in which passengers actually pay a fine are few. We're demanding that the Department of Justice take on criminal proceedings for these cases. Dixon telling senators Wednesday the FAA has referred several incidents to the Justice Department for federal charges. All of it on the doorstep of the busy holiday travel season when strain on airlines and their crews only intensifies. It's a natural business tendency to look at, hey, let's try to do this at a lesser cost. But you have to be very careful because that obsession to cut costs at all costs can really undermine what should be the primary obsession, and that is safety. James Packard, Newsy, Los Angeles.